Good morning and welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino and boy do we have a lot to talk about and a very complicated forecast. So let's get to it. So here's our forecast in a nutshell. We have three disturbances that are diving towards the Tennessee River Valley over the next 66 hours. In that 66 hours we have three solutions. One solution which is supported by many of the model guidance right now after flipping yesterday morning uh, has basically a miss of a phase between the disturbance circled in red, the disturbance circled in yellow, and the dis disturbance circle in blue. As a result, the yellow storm track you see on the map here is the result of that missed phase. Basically the storm is too far out into the Atlantic with little of any impact with the exception of eastern Connecticut and eastern Long Island. Now, let me just start first by saying, let's define these disturbances. The first disturbance in red is our subtropical disturbance, our disturbance in yellow is our polar disturbance, and our disturbance in blue is our arctic disturbance. The way the models are working this out is that this disturbance in yellow, the polar disturbance, is moving a little bit too fast, according to the guidance, uh, and as a result, it causes the disturbance over, the, over Texas to shear out and weaken. As a result, because of the timing is just a little bit off, the storm isn't able to phase properly or phases too late, and as a result, the storm track is further out into the Atlantic. However, there are some model guidance and some ensemble guidance that has these two disturbances phasing just at the right time, but misses the Arctic disturbance. So what you end up with is the storm track in red here that basically develops a low pressure center off the southeast coast, rockets up towards the, uh, towards the coastal waters of New Jersey, but too far off the coast to produce any significant snowfall for the New Jersey coast, but close enough to produce a moderate snowfall for eastern Long Island and eastern Connecticut. The timing of these disturbances is extremely important. And we really won't know exactly how these disturbances will interact until tomorrow at the earliest. So right now we're kind of at, at a questionable point in the forecast. There is clearly a potential for a storm, but how these disturbances interact, well, we're talking about fluid dynamics here. And any little mistake that's off in the uh, analysis of, of these disturbances will make a huge impact. Now, let's talk about this Arctic disturbance. The Arctic disturbance on the models right now, as opposed to a few days ago, has this disturbance actually moving a little bit too slow. As a result, this strong disturbance is centered, will center over the northern Mississippi River Valley on Christmas Day and cause the trough to be too wide. And as a result, the upper level winds are more southwest to northeast, again, forcing the storm further out into the Atlantic. In order for a significant snowfall for the entire northern mid-Atlantic to develop, this disturbance needs to move a little bit faster than what guidance is, suge is suggesting at this time. By 0Z tonight, or basically this evening, uh, this disturbance will be in a much better area for analysis and we'll find out whether this disturbance is actually moving as slow as some of the guidance is suggesting. If it's not, then we're dealing with a completely different situation and what we have is storm track blue, which I have highlight, which I have uh, faded off a little bit compared to the other two tracks, because this track is the least likely to happen at this time. This storm track would produce a significant snowfall for the entire northern Mid Atlantic, and would create a very significant, powerful snowstorm. Again, the difference in these solutions is basically less than six hours, which is why there's a lot of indecision. You're seeing a lot of uh, waffling. Uh, in the media and uh, in some weather sources anywhere from nothing to over 10 inches of snow because the potential is there for nothing or over 6 inches of snow. Now currently I'm going with a track basically around the uh, red track which produces a moderate snowfall for eastern Long Island and eastern Connecticut anywhere from 4 to 8 inches of snow. However, I could easily see them just getting two to four inches, but I think right now, based on the position of these disturbances and the speed at which they're moving, I think that's a reasonable forecast at this time. Also, there's going to be a potential for some backlash snowfall as the storm explodes 
over the Gulf of Alaska, uh, considering that the Arctic disturbance is as slow as expected, the phase, the complete phase happens later, and so therefore the storm explodes a little bit later than forecasted. Again, we're going to have to keep an eye on these disturbances. If they're off by just a little bit, then what's currently forecasted and these disturbances are able to interact, then we're dealing with a vastly different storm than what we're currently expected. But for now, it looks like mostly a miss for the northern Atlantic. And it looks like New York City at most will see only a few scattered snow showers and uh, maybe a period of light snow on Sunday evening, but nothing drastic. Thank you for trusting NYNJPA weather as your weather source for the northern Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. I'll be away for the Christmas vacation, but if anything should change, you, would, you can be sure that there will be rapid updates on this developing storm. Have an excellent Christmas vacation and Christmas weekend. Have a great day.